大家好，欢迎来到跟陈老师学汉语第六课。我会说汉语。In this lesson, we'll learn five short Chinese conversations, and then we'll learn 会、很 and 怎么 in Chinese. Next, we'll learn how do we say country names and its people. The last. Is the reading practice. The first conversation. 你会说汉语吗？我会说汉语。你妈妈会说汉语吗？她不会说。The first new word. 会 it has several meanings. In this conversation, it's a model verb, means can or be able to. The second meaning of 会 is will. It expresses the future tense, and I'll explain it in the lesson twelve. 说 is a verb. It means to speak, to say. 妈妈 it's a noun. Means mother. This conversation talks about somebody be able to do something, and in Chinese we use 会 to express can or be able to. I'll explain it in detail later in this lesson. The second conversation. 你会说汉语吗？嗯，我会。或、哦、嗯，我会。你会说汉语吗？是的，我会说汉语。The first new word. It can be pronounced in the neutral tone. 嗯。Or it can be pronounced in the fourth tone. 嗯。Both means yes. 是的 also means yes. In English, we have several words to express yes, like yeah, yep. In Chinese, it's the same. 嗯，是，哦，是的。In this conversation, 嗯 and 是的 are most used in spoken language. The third conversation. 你会说中文吗？我会说中文。你妈妈会说中文吗？她不会说。中文 is a noun, means Chinese. 中 Literally, it means middle. In this word, it means China, like Zhong in Zhongguo. Wen literally it means literature. In this word, it means language. And together, Zhongwen means Chinese language. You may ask. In the first conversation, you said Han Yu is Chinese language, and here. We also say Chinese is Chinese language. So which one is Chinese language? Actually, both are Chinese language. We have two expressions to express the same thing. Chinese and Chinese they have a little bit difference only in some cases, but at the beginner level, you can absolutely consider they are the same. The fourth. Conversation. Chinese food is good. Chinese food is very good. Can you make Chinese food? I won't make it. Chinese food means dish or cuisine. Very. It's an adverb. 
It means very or quiet. 好吃 It's an adjective. Means delicious, tasty, or yummy. In this word, 好 this character literally it means good. It's an adjective. 吃 this character itself is a verb. Means to eat. And 好吃 together literally it means good to eat. And translated by meaning, it means delicious. Tasty or yummy. 做 is a verb. It means to make, to produce, or to do. In this conversation, the first sentence and the second sentence have a unique Chinese grammar. I'll explain it later in detail in this lesson. The last conversation. 你会写。汉字吗？我会写。这个字怎么写？对不起，这个字我会读，不会写。写 ，it's a verb, means to write. 汉字 ，it's a noun, means Chinese character. Han itself it means Han ethnic group. Zi is a noun means character. Han zi and zi somehow they are interchangeable. Sometimes you just say zi, which stands for Han zi. Zen is a pronoun means how. I'll explain it later. In detail in this lesson, 读 is a verb means to read. The model verb 会会 it means can. First, let's read these sentences. 我会写汉字。我不会做中国菜。你妈妈会说汉语吗？我会说德语。我不会说法语。In the positive sentences, the word order in Chinese is the same as it is in English. You just put the mother verb. Hui in front of the actual verb, but in the negative sentences they are different. You can see English we say cannot, but in Chinese we say 不会 We put the negative adverb 不 in front of the model verb 会 If we compare them with the German translation, then you can find the word order are all different. In German, the sentence is "Ich kann Französisch nicht sprechen." Can is "hui," nicht is "not." Bu. It's a common thing that we have different word orders in different languages. What we need to do is just get used to them. Sentences with an adjective predicate. First, let's read the sentences. 我很好。我妈妈的汉语不好。中国菜很好吃。天气很好。中国很大。很 is an adverb. It means very or quite in English. It expresses the degree. In the first sentence, 很好 literally it means very good. In the third sentence, 很好吃 literally it means very tasty. 
The last sentence, 很大 literally it means very big. But if we translate these sentences by meaning, then the English sentences shouldn't have the word very. The English translation of these Chinese sentences should be, I'm good. My mother's Chinese isn't good. Chinese dishes are tasty. The weather is good. China is big. You may ask, there are link verb to be in the English sentences, and we have learned shi in Chinese means to be. Why there are no shi in the Chinese sentences? Good question. That is the point. The grammar here is different. In Chinese, the grammar of the sentence is subject plus predict, and the adjective can be used as predict. But in the English sentence, the link verb plus adjective together are used as predict. You may want to know what if we add the link verb shi in the Chinese sentences. Do the sentences make sense? And what the difference is? Let's add shi in the Chinese sentences and check it out. The first sentence. 我是很好 It means I'm good for sure. The second one. 我妈妈的汉语是不好 It means my mom's Chinese isn't good for sure. 是 kind of means for sure. It emphasizes the sentence. And that is the difference. The easier way to understand these sentences are, you can consider that 很 functions as the link verb to be in Chinese sentences. Then you won't think to be is missing. It's not correct, but it would make it easier for you to build subject predict sentences in Chinese. Now, we will learn the interrogative pronoun 怎么? How? Let's first read these sentences. 这个汉字怎么读? 你的汉语名字怎么写? 这个汉字怎么写? How old are you? 用汉语怎么说? In this sentence, we have a new word, 用. 用, it's a verb, means to use. 用汉语, literally it means using Chinese. Then, translated by meaning, it means in Chinese. The word order of asking the Chinese question is always different compared with the English. Let's look at the answers of these questions. The first one. 这个汉字怎么读? Literally, it means this character, how to read? The answer. 这个汉字这样读? This character, like this, to read. The second one. 你的汉语 名字怎么写? Literally, it means your Chinese name, how to write? The answer, 我的汉语名字那样写. Literally, it means my Chinese name, like that, to write. The third one, 这个汉字怎么写? Literally, it means this character, how to write. The answer, 这个汉字这样写, this character, like this, to write. The last one, how old are you? 用汉语怎么说? Literally, it means how old are you? Using Chinese, how to say? The answer, how old are you? 用汉语这样说. 
literally it means what are you using Chinese like this to say? Sen How? Like all other Chinese interrogative pronouns, the word order in a question is just like it is in its declarative sentence, its answer. So you just replace the part you want to ask by zen, then it's a question. Now we will learn country names and its people. Please read after me. Tu er qi. E luo si. Fa guo. Ba xi. De guo. Nan fei. Jia na da. Ai ji. Ying Guo Kenya Ripan Indu Ni Lai Zi Na Ge Guo Jia. Please tell me which country are you from and leave it in the comments down below. Now Let's learn how do we say the people of each country. Starting from the first one, Turkey. Tu er qi, Turkey. And then what we need to do is to add the character ren after the country name. Then it is tu er qi ren, it's people, Turk. E luo si. Russia and add Zhen after it. It becomes a Russian. Russian. The rest are the same. You just add Zhen after the country name. Then it becomes its people. Fa Guo Fa Guo Ren. Ba Xi, Ba Xi Ren. De Guo, De Guo Ren. Nan Fei, Nan Fei Ren. Jia Na Da, Jia Na Da Ren. Ai Ji, Ai Ji Ren. Ying Guo. Ying Guo Ren Kenya Kenya Ren Ripan Ripan Ren Indu Indu Ren The rule is pretty simple. We just add the character Ren after the country name, then it becomes its people. This rule applies for all countries, not just the countries listed here. Reading practice. Please read after me. 你会说汉语吗? 你会写汉字吗? 你会做中国菜吗? 你有汉语名字吗? 你会写你的汉语名字吗? Wahui 这个汉字我会写,不会读. Okay, that's all for this lesson. 谢谢,下节课再见。
If you like my video, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.